Hello, it's Sarah. And I have a couple things I wanted to talk about. I got a, a little haul. But um, I've been playing with my pens and markers and stuff. I did the December uh, book club for Joanne Sharp's book. That's The Art of Whimsical Lettering by Joanne Sharp. And I will be doing a this year's... Um, I'll put it in the description box. I forget what it's called, but it's a, a year-long um, classes, about 24 different uh, videos she has, um, and not all lettering. There's going to be some uh, mixed media, art journaling type stuff, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, but I did, she has a book club that, so you go along with the book, and what we did this month for December was make this little uh, gratitude journal out of just tags. Just practicing writing words in different ways with the uh, the alphabets that she gives you in her book. There's a lot of different ones in here, like starting on page 76, uh, Thicket, Pencil Perfect, Extreme Cursive. So she has a bunch of different styles that she has, and then she just has you write a word and put it in your little grateful journal. So that was fun. Um, then I also got, actually I got these for Christmas. This is uh, two different books by Marie Browning. And she's pretty much, um, she's an artist that's a rep for Tombow. That's what I'm guessing. Um, she is, uh, let's see, she's been, oh, she's written this book and then Tangled with Color. So Time to Tangle with Color. Um, but so most of the products in here are the Tombow markers, so I have those. I have a couple different sets of those. Um, and I know Joanne Sharp loves them too. And then this one's the Pencil Magic. So one's Brush make Marker Magic and the other one's Pencil Magic. And that's where I'm kind of stumped because I have never really done a lot of work with colored pencil, but I really want to try it. So I've been reading this and I've tried a few things, so I'll show you what um, I've been doing. Uh, I only have this set of Prismacolor, this 12 set. I actually have a couple uh, just random ones because I did get some that were for um, faces. I got a couple like more face colors because I was doing, um, so I have a lot of creamy peachy pinky ones and they're not all Prismacolor. Most of them are, but I got a couple of uh, Koinor, Koinor? Polycolor. Um, so anyway, I have a little collection, not a lot of colors, and I'm struggling because I think when you want to blend your colored pencils, you have to kind of have colors that blend together. Um, anyway, I'll show you what I have. Um, one of the cool techniques that I did in um, this Pencil Magic book, though, I have both, I have these visual journals, and one is actually watercolor paper, and one is mixed media paper. So this one's watercolor paper, and this is mixed media. And the difference is watercolor paper is a lot, well, the cold-pressed watercolor paper is bumpy. So the... Um, this is my just like coloring, basic coloring with Prismacolor pens, pencils. I was trying to just feel them out. Because honestly, I haven't ever really done a project with colored pencil. I might have just, I don't think I have. I can't think of anything anyway. So um, these two little projects here, this one is, if you look at it, and it's hard to see, maybe I could should darken it up a little bit. This is the... Um, same pattern that I used for this pewter little um, wood block that I did. And I just traced that on to, this is um, the mixed media paper with a stylus. You kind of just press into the paper and then you gently color over that with your pencils and it leaves a white mark. So that isn't the best um, I think it worked better on the watercolor paper, but this is another one that I did. This one's kind of, this was in the book. She just did a bunch of Christmas trees in different shapes and like put patterns inside them and stuff. And then kind of this, we used two colors. 
um, to color these Christmas trees and I think that's a cool little look like for a Christmas card right and I mean then you could add colored balls on there or put tinsel or whatever you want but I was just trying the technique on the um, <coughs> mixed media paper uh, and then these are just techniques that she was doing with the Tombow markers and I'll talk about them in a minute and that's just um, when I was practicing my writing so that's the two pieces that I did in that one and then in this in the watercolor book I did this one this is just all I did was just freehand a bee skep and some bees but they're in the book she has an example of it and the technique is called impressed line drawing so here's the tree and she had a couple other examples, but then she had this little bee skep here, and I love bee skeps. You know, I did one in my art journal. So I just kind of took that, because the directions aren't great. Like, she does tell you what to do, but like I said, I mean, for me, I like to see someone do it and understand why they do it and really explain it to me. So anyway, this is just kind of my best kind of copy of what she did and using the pencils that I have. So I don't really know. I added some flowers, which are just little curly cute flowers. Aren't they cute? But it was just a fun, It's a. I like the technique. It's a very, I, again, I used my stylus and just basically drew the design into, this is watercolor paper this time. So it's a much thicker paper. This is, let me see, 100 and what? Let's see if I can. This is watercolor cold press. Uh, 140 pound weight uh, watercolor paper and this is the Strathmore visual journal and then this is just oh I did a little dragonfly um, I think I just freehanded him too I just drew him based on her dragonfly picture that she had I just did a little I was showing my son but like when you run your pencils over this paper you can see how it makes a bumpy thing and so I was watching some videos by um, Sandy Allnack her name is and she likes her pencils very sharp so when she's doing her little circles it goes down into the nooks and crannies so I have a lot to learn about colored pencil and then here's just a little fox that I did I just drew him based on another I think it's a stamp that she has um, wait where is it uh, I guess um, she doesn't really have a good reference for where she gets her stamps and stuff, which I didn't like either. I mean, she has, in the front of the book, there's um, rubber stamps, and it's just the names of different stamp places. So it doesn't tell you on the page what stamp it, it is or what it's called. Here's a little fox, but I think he's a stamp. And she stamps it with a gray ink pad first. And then you can just go to town watercoloring, so or not watercoloring, pe colored pencil. So I think he turned out pretty cool for using just the, the um, colors that I had. Um, he's pretty sweet, and I just drew him. Uh, what else did I do? So that was what I did. I need to definitely, I want to do some more um, black, just sketching like this and shading. So with just the... Um, learning how to get value and let's see because so there's a little bit of uh, like art stuff graphite pencils that's what it is I need to I have a couple of them too I have the the HB and then hardness and blackness that's what it talks about what the HB means so I'm really learning like this is a 2B so it's not going to be the blackest um, and this is a Derwent sketching but she, the, again, this is the Tombow stuff. So she has, in here, it's the Tombow drawing pencils, the Tombow, everything. Everything, the mono. Um, I love this little eraser, too. That's cool. So I have a lot to learn. But I thought this was just a good place to start. You don't get these on sale, either. This is, um, or you can't use your um, coupon. These were around $12, I think. Um... So I got that one, and like I said, the brush marker one I loved because I have the, some Tombow markers, so I could at least um, start with that. 
Um, in the back, it's some really cool little uh, techniques for just using the brush tip to make little um, like strokey dab flowers and stuff. So that was really cute. Like you could just do a card or a tag with that. There, there's a lot of info in here. Uh, Matthew? She's eating your trash. <sighs> Uh, let's see. Oh, the glue pen resist. I did that. Where's my glue pen? Here it is. So this is on the Tombow site. Marie drew this. This is her um, rendering, but you can download this to your computer. So let me zoom back out. Um, so that was cool. This actually is the glue pen. And where did I put it? I have one, this one. This is called the Quickie Glue glue pen by Sakura but I think there's one by Tombow that's what she uses but it's the same thing it's just there's glue in here and it actually works as glue but it creates a resist so if you look at my dragonfly oh my lights are so but I put like a swirl design so first thing I did was go ahead and do that and it dries clear so you don't see it and then I went and started coloring my um flowers and by the time I was done that that was dry enough and I could just do the technique on there and this I'm pretty happy with this page even though I didn't have the color she had like I wished my greens were I only have two greens and I think I'm gonna get I'll probably get another set of Tombos too um, I can't it doesn't have the colors it just has numbers um, and they come with a bold brush tip and a uh, I guess I call it a bullet tip. Yeah, bullet tip. But, um, and they work with watercolor too, so you can watercolor with them. They're very good. They're very versatile. Um, and Joanne Sharp likes them too. But anyway, so then after I did the technique that she um, does, and I think she has a video for this. That's where I saw this. That's where I started seeing all this stuff. I, I put her into face or into uh, YouTube. Um, Marie Browning and Tombow comes up. So her, her stuff is all on the Tombow website. And um, she had, so like I said, she has this you can print out on the site. And I have this one too. Now this one was a different technique. And I wasn't thrilled with this technique because I just didn't have enough markers. I didn't have enough varying, varying color. I only have two blues. So I think she needed at least like four different blues or something. Um, and it was blue and greens. I mean, I love it. I like what she's where she's going with it. But for me, the t and also I thought because you know what she has you using is this the colorless blender, which I had never used and didn't know what to use it for. So that's what the videos on Tomba will help you know what to do with these brushes and how to mix colors and all that stuff. So that was really good because um, I hadn't really played with them much since I got them and that was just because Joanne Sharp recommended them for watercoloring and that's what I in, in this watercolor book I tried and they're terrible I mean this one's okay but this is just a little watercolor <clears throat> that I did with the Tombos and then I outline it with the uh, Faber-Castell liner pen or um, a permanent pen right but I mean cute it's just it's just like for cards or for cutesy quick things see I don't know if I have actually I didn't do it in here because oh yeah I did a couple um, you know and I mean I'm a beginner I'm like I said I'm learning these new mediums so that's why it's fun to this is cute just very simple um, Create, play, share. I was just, so I also did do some in the mixed media one too, but I decided to get the watercolor one because she was saying that the Tombow markers love the watercolor one, the watercolor paper better. So this was, I might have shared these before <clears throat> in a different video, uh, but I think that I'm going to, from now on, I'll be using the watercolor paper just because I know um, they work good with that. So yeah, so what else did I do? I did do some... Oh, I was playing around with the brush. Here. Here it is. So she does little dragonflies just using the brush and a little bee scap and little daisies and little um, leaf patterns. 
So here's the B scap, and she does it like two-toned. The B's I didn't do too good. Like this was from a video that I saw, um, and then I realized that they were in the book. Um, but she does tulips, roses, daisies, um, butterflies, da daffodils, hearts. So some really cute little um, things that you do with just the brush. So. All right, I guess that's about it. This is, um, I'll put the links to Tombow USA. Um, and I wanted to ask you guys too, this was just something I started to do with the pencils. I guess I'll show you the pencils too real quick. But this is um, just a, this might be Nina Solar White cardstock, I'm not sure. And I started to do some pencil on here and really didn't like the feel of it or how it was kind of, taking to the paper. So then I printed out a couple more of the sheets from Tombow. And those of you who are more familiar with um, pencil might help me, but I am struggling. All I did was very lightly, like you can see where I started very lightly, sorry I'm not even in the shot, um, in just like two colors. I think I was just doing two colors and I like that. That's not bad. Um, then I started adding my purple into it to kind of, and I like this petal, to make it really look shaded. Um, but, and then there's this cool pen. Where are you, little guy? This one. No, no, this one. This is Artist Loft Colored Pencil Blender. And I think it's, you can basically use this too, the, the Tombow Colorless Blender too, but I want to show you this. So, it's just like this. I think I blended most of these petals, but I want to show you like this, just the two-tone one, how it kind of smooths out all the um, pencil lines. Like it kind of pushes the color into the white and makes it look smooth compared to that, see? So I'm not sure which look I like better. Like I'm going to do this one because there was a lot of white showing. I think I kind of like that. I'm going to leave one at least with the white showing so I can. It looks blended more. I'm not sure. But there's the highlights go away when you don't have that white showing through, you know. Um, and then this one, I just started pressing. I got impatient and started pressing really hard, but I kind of like the way that looks. So... I'm not sure what techniques, and, and again, I only have like two colors. Like I wish I had like a black cherry for shading with instead of purple, like a rose color. And then I think I used, I started using pink at the end to highlight. Like, let's see, did I blend this one? Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm a very beginner. So I'm gonna read my pencil book tonight because I was playing with the markers more and then it gets on there but you can just like wipe it off I kind of like this and I think people use Gamsol and a blending stump too like a tertillion um, but this one I didn't do any uh, blending with the uh, with this pen but like for this I try well I don't have any coral colors but I do not like let me see what it looks like if I use this if it actually blends it together because I think I used black instead of purple I don't like it I didn't like that like this this one I did much lighter like I kept it I didn't put the black or anything I just really tried to darken it with the um, the dark red but it doesn't look as shaded to me like there's not as as much difference in the color to make it look I mean I like that better I like it better without the black like I like that better I don't like that I love my green I think the green turned out cool like if I zoom in on that and that's just the raw pencil and I did print these out on um, I think this is multimedia paper it's from a big journal, this journal, which I don't really know 
what kind of paper it is because I covered it. But I'm pretty sure it's um, mixed media paper. It's very heavy. So that's what I ended up, I put them, just cut them to 8.5 by 11 and put them through the printer. But let's use this on the green. I like that. I think I like it better using the blender than if I keep it with the white. I like that better. And look at this green one. Can you see that? Let's see what this looks like when I blend it. I think it just puts color into the really white areas. But, I mean, I really struggled with it. I don't know what I'm doing. It, it's frustrating when you don't know what you're doing. I mean, that has some dimension, but... I don't know. I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, you know. I'm going to have to read the uh and I think Sandy Allnack has a couple of she has some um pencil videos that I think I'm going to watch cuz I just like the way she teaches. I like her teaching style. Um what else did I want to tell you? Yeah, this is from the um Tombow website again. These are all, well, not that one. That one's just uh, from um, Zen Inspirations or Zentangle. I don't know where the lid is. Did I put, yeah. All right, so I think I'm going to order the 46 um, colored pencils. And I'm going to stick with, that's the other thing. In these books, she does the Tombow um, pen colored pencils and they're called something hold on they're called page 25 this the eroded erogitin erogitin colored pencils but those are by Tombow and um, Lindsay the frugal crafter did a review on them and she likes them a lot she thinks they're pretty good but she does the Prisma color. Everybody seems to love the Prisma color. Some really professional artists that do really a lot of pencil work like these other kinds um, because they say that these break, that they're um, uh, something about the way, like, and they have broken for me too, um, but the way that they're core goes and all that stuff but I like the creaminess I think they're pretty cool this is marker but this is pencil so I mean it looks let me say from a distance I mean that doesn't look too bad I didn't blend a couple of them I kind of like it blended though um, all right so what else was I gonna say so that's my little play with these two books and these are again Marie Browning mmm and I'm gonna get, yeah, I think I'm gonna get like this, I forget if it's 46, it's 46. I'm gonna get the 46 set of them. And then I should have a better, um, lot more options when I shade. But let me know, you guys, if you have um, any tips or tricks or videos that you can recommend for me, um, I would like to see them for uh, doing some color pencil work. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.